Hello. On today's episode of the Who Am I series, we're going to be covering the cases of the Cameron Parish Jane Doe and the Harris County Jane Doe. The Cameron Parish Jane Doe was found on March 1st, 2018 in Cameron Parish, Louisiana. An inmate work crew from the Cameron Parish Jail were picking up trash alongside a highway. The inmates found a decomposing head in a plastic grocery bag on the shoulder of the road. No other body parts were found at the time, and this is the only remains that have ever been found of the Cameron Parish Jane Doe. It's estimated that she had been dead anywhere between one to six weeks, but investigators do believe she was dead closer to six weeks. Investigators were not able to determine the cause of death due to the state of decomposition, but there was no visible trauma outside of the decapitation. The Harris County Jane Doe was found on March 24, 2018 in Harris County, Texas. Volunteers were picking up trash alongside a highway near Lake Houston. The volunteers were working in a rocky area of the lake when they found a large black trash bag which ended up containing a decomposing head. Now, similar to the circumstances surrounding the Cameron Parish Jane Doe, no other body parts were recovered at the time and the head is still the only remains that have ever been recovered of the Harris County Jane Doe. It's estimated that she had been dead for at least a week prior to discovery, but due to the state of decomposition, it's been difficult for investigators to nail down exactly how long she'd been dead when she was discovered. Also due to the state of decomposition, investigators were not able to determine a cause of death. Now, similarities were instantly apparent to investigators in both Harris County and Cameron Parish. Both Jane Doe's were found 150 miles apart, three weeks apart, and Cameron Parish is along the Gulf Coast in southern Louisiana near the Texas border. Of course, the circumstances of the crimes were similar as well. These were both severed heads of women found in plastic bags. The surroundings that the bags were found in were very similar as well. Both sets of remains were found near lakes and RV parks, and the women both had similar physical appearances. They were both white or Hispanic, they had similar age range, and their hair was similar colors as well. Also, the teeth of both women were well maintained, which suggests something about their socioeconomic statuses. Now, the Cameron Parish Jane Doe was found in a grassy marsh next to Highway 27 near Milepost 59 in Cameron Parish, a little bit south of Hackberry, Louisiana. And Hackberry is a community of RV parks. She was found a couple of miles north of the Sabine National Wildlife Refuge and Lake Calcasieu is less than a mile from where her head was found. The Harris County Jane Doe was found in Huffman, Texas on an embankment along a bridge crossing Lake Houston. Her remains were specifically recovered near the southbound lanes of FM 1960, which is a local highway. The location she was found is adjacent to the Lake Houston Marina, which is an open access RV park that both residents and visitors have access to. The Cameron Parish Jane Doe was a white or Hispanic female who ranged in age from 30 to 50 years old, although some accounts state that she was between 25 and 40 years old at her time of death. Investigators were unable to estimate her height or weight, 
And they also were not able to determine her eye color due to the state of decomposition. But they did determine that she had medium length brown or auburn hair, and they defined medium length hair as anywhere between 10 to 12 inches long. She had had extensive dental work during her life, including a couple of cavity fillings, and her teeth were in good condition, but they were beginning to be affected from deterioration. And the condition of her teeth did make it unlikely that she was transient because typically if an individual is transient, they don't have the financial resources or stability to seek dental care. Her dental records and her DNA is available. And Cameron Parrish had no people who had been reported missing around that time. And the medical examiner in neighboring Calcasieu Parish determined that the woman's remains were not consistent with the profiles of any other local missing persons from neighboring parishes. The Harris County Jane Doe was a white or Hispanic female who ranged in age from 20 to 45 years old, although some accounts state her age as being anywhere from 25 to 45 years old. And similarly to the Cameron Parish Jane Doe, they were unable to estimate her height or weight due to the state of decomposition. Investigators were not able to determine her eye color due to the state of decomposition, but they believed that her eyes were either brown or dark brown. She was said to have naturally wavy, shoulder-length hair dyed a reddish-brown or auburn color, and at the time of discovery, three to four inches of very dark brown roots were showing, which signified that the Harris County Jane Doe had naturally dark hair. A very distinctive feature about the Harris County Jane Doe is that she had winged teeth on both the top and bottom of her mouth, and winged just means that her teeth were slightly rotated. Investigators stated that this feature would have been noticeable to anyone who knew her. Another distinctive feature about the Harris County Jane Doe is that she had permanent or semi-permanent makeup tattoos of eyebrows and upper lid eyeliner. Her dental records are available as well, and her well-maintained teeth strongly suggest that she was not a drug abuser in life. And in an effort to identify the Harris County Jane Doe, investigators have reached out to authorities from neighboring counties and states to determine if the woman is a missing person from there. Now, two weeks prior to the discovery of the Harris County Jane Doe, witnesses saw a man throw a black plastic bag off the bridge near where her remains were discovered. And the person of interest was said to have light skin, be in his early to mid twenties, have been anywhere from five foot four to five foot eight inches tall, and have short, dark brown hair with long bangs that hung across his face. He was wearing a gray and black plaid shirt, and he was driving a teal or bluish green Chevy Silverado extended cab pickup truck. Witnesses say that the back left passenger window was broken and was covered by what looked like cardboard. They also said that the truck appeared to have been in several wrecks and had rust spots. Now it has been theorized that both the Cameron Parish Jane Doe and the Harris County Jane Doe's murders are connected to the San Bernardino Jane Doe's murder. She was found in San Bernardino, California in February 2010. She was found under similar circumstances to both the Cameron Parish and Harris County Jane Doe in that the severed head of a Hispanic female was found in a backpack on the side of the road and authorities noted that her teeth were also well maintained. 
It has also been speculated that a serial killer is responsible for all three of these murders. I would just like to close this video out by letting everyone know that the Cameron Parish Sheriff's Office and Houston Police are working together on these cases. I'll include contact information for both Louisiana and Texas authorities in the description box and on the screen. If you have any information that can help authorities identify either of these two Jane Doe's, I urge you to come forward to help their families reclaim them and put them to rest. Thank you.